Hi, hello, I'm Sugar. In this video, I'll be explaining World of Warcraft's new Season 4 faded affixes for raids. There are four affixes in total. Each boss will have one faded affix active. These affixes are active on all difficulties from LFR up through Mythic. By now, most of us have seen these in this week's active faded raid, Castle Nathria. I went in not really knowing how to optimally handle these, but after clearing Heroic, I have a much better understanding on what to expect from each of them. I'll start with Chaotic Essence. This randomly summons an orb that the raid can interact with. When clicked, hostile orbs spawn from it that channel cosmic damage at random players. When defeated, these orbs split into additional orbs. This pattern lasts for 15 seconds. After the 15 seconds is up, the raid receives a buff based on how many orbs it was able to defeat. This grants 2% increased damage, healing, and absorbs per stack. Next up is Creation Spark. This requires a bit of cooperation between the player it randomly chooses and the healer assigned to dispel it. The randomly chosen player will begin to suffer stacking cosmic damage over 30 seconds. The longer it's on them, the higher the damage. To minimize damage taken, they should run into melee and have the assigned healer dispel it. When dispelled, this throws golden pools out from around the player. Soak these pools to gain a buff that increases casting and attack speed, cooldown recharge rate, and periodic tick rates by 15%, and increases movement speed by 45% for 20 seconds per stack. If a pool isn't soaked, the raid will suffer a dot that deals cosmic damage for the next 20 seconds. I recommend assigning a healer to dispel this because of the way the pools spawn from the dispelled player. If they are dispelled in Narnia, the raid will need to run to those pools, potentially missing them. Protoform Barrier has two parts to it. First, it will manifest as a shield on the boss that the raid needs to DPS through. Once the barrier is removed, two orbs spawn, one that can be DPSed and one that can be healed. The DPS one will be channeling an uninterruptible cast. The raid needs to DPS or heal the orb before the cast finishes. Any healing done to the orb counts towards breaking the shield. Once broken, the raid gains a 25% increased damage, healing, and absorbs buff for 40 seconds. If the raid fails to break the shield, the raid will take a burst of cosmic damage and suffer from a dot for 8 seconds. Now this seems very straightforward, however, in fights that have a lot of movement, it can be kind of tedious to get it down, especially if you're on the run from mechanics. I recommend dealing with this as soon as possible to avoid deadly overlaps. When the reconfiguration emitter spawns, it begins to continuously cast. It is immune to damage until its first successful cast, or until interrupted. On every interrupt, the raid will take a small burst of damage. If a cast goes off, the raid suffers a burst of damage that is increased the longer it's been up. Every cast should be interrupted, however, the longer the raid leaves this up, the bigger the buff will be when defeated. This increases mastery, crit, verse, and avoidance. Along with being interruptible, the emitter can be gripped, typhooned, or displaced. I'd say this is the easiest to deal with so long as no interrupts are missed. The reward for clearing all raids on normal or higher faded difficulty is the Jigglesworth Senior Slime Cat Mount, which was one of the free community mount choices at the start of Shadowlands that didn't win. The heroic reward is the title Hero of Fate, and Mythic rewards a portal to each raid instance. Here's some TLDR slides for these affixes, I hope they help. Happy raiding! Okay, bye.